All right, party people, Lady Gaga and Bruno Mars just released a new song together, and I have a lot of thoughts. Many of my thoughts are confusion. <laughs> Die with a smile. Let me start off with the music video, which I really enjoyed and don't have a single criticism about. The music video, A+. The song itself confuses me. Why? I'm just gonna jump ahead and say, I think it's a good song. Super solid, like a B. But both Bruno and Lady Gaga know how to craft a hit song. And Die With A Smile is not a hit song. That was clearly a strategic decision. They weren't going for hit, they were going for vibe, I think. And the vibe they ended up on isn't sonically keeping in line with what is streaming and being played on radio. When I first saw this photo, I thought, oh my God, they are gonna give us Dolly and Kenny Rogers. We are gonna get a 2024 type of Islands in the Stream song, which I think actually would have been a hit for them. And remember, I said this is a good song. I think a B is better than, you know, Woman's World and a D, you know, okay. But instead of being Dolly and Kenny Rogers, they gave us The Carpenters meets Lenny Kravitz. That's the vibe that I got. The Carpenters meets Lenny Kravitz. Good, but that feels like an album track. Or this would have been a great song for the Joker soundtrack. Yeah, she could have written it for the film and been nominated and won another Oscar. There's different expectations with soundtrack songs. I was expecting, hoping, well, I was, the bar was set realistically for this and it does not disappoint. And, I think they are gonna slay it live. This is a song that's meant to be performed live. And actually, a Lady Gaga and Bruno Mars tour or residency in Vegas would crush. And some of you might think that I am a Gaga hater. I'm not. I actually think I would enjoy this song more if it was just Lady Gaga. Her vocals Everything about her voice on this song is on another level. And Bruno sounds great on it too, but she slayed it. And um, I would love to hear a version with just her. But yeah, I heard it twice in a row. And the biggest, biggest problem is this is a pop song. And the most important part of a pop song is a chorus. And the chorus on this song is fine. Average, mid, not very memorable, not bad, but the chorus is lacking. If the chorus would have really exploded or just been more exciting or different or special, this could have gone from a B to a A minus or an A or an A plus. And listen, music is subjective. So these are my thoughts. What are yours? I really wanna know. Let me know in the comment section.